Many animals form ordered societies much like humans do, for example wolves, ants, and bees just to name a few. But how do bees decide the next queen when the other one leaves? Well stay tuned because in today's video, we will give you the answer. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, so you do not miss any of our new videos. Also, feel free to follow us on social media, links in the description box down below. All bees fall into one of three groups, worker bees, drones, and queen bees. Worker bees are always female, they collect pollen, feed other bees, and protect the hive. Drone bees are always male, and their only job is to mate with the queen. A queen bee's job is very important, she lays eggs to ensure the hive's future. Worker and drone bees live for a few months at most, without a queen the hive's population would dwindle quickly. Luckily queen bees can lay over a thousand eggs every day, and most queens live for about five years. Unfertilized eggs hatch male bees who will become drones, and fertilized eggs hatch female bees, who will be workers or queens. At a point or another, queen bees must give up her throne, whether she's injured, rejected by the hive, or just reaching the end of her life. The queen slows her laying of eggs, at that point, the rest of the hive knows it's time to choose a new queen. First, the queen lays more eggs, then the worker bees choose up to 20 of the fertilized eggs, to be potential new queens. When these eggs hatch, the workers feed the larvae a special food called royal jelly, helping them to grow larger than other bees. Then worker bees place the potential future queens in separate cells in the hive, the first one to mature will become the new queen. When the new queen emerges from her cell, her first job is to get rid of her competitors, by destroying these larvae in their cells. Sometimes two queens emerge at the same time, in these cases they fight, and the winner becomes the new queen.